and welcome to another episode of Homework with Ms. Thomas. I am Ms. Thomas, and today we will be exploring Lesson 4 module in Module 2. The objective is to know and relate metric units to place value units in order to express measurements in different units. Let's jump right into it. First one, we're going to complete this table. So they give us the smaller unit, then we have the larger unit, and we have to say or answer the question, how many times is large as? So for the example, they give us a centimeter, and the larger unit is a meter. A centimeter 100 times equals a meter. So that's why they have 100 there. For the larger unit, for the second one, we have 100. What do we do 100 times and we get 100? One. One times 100 equals 100. We have one meter to kilometer. One meter 1,000 times is one kilometer. We have one gram. One gram one, times 1,000 is one kilogram. We have one 1,000 times is 1,000. One milliliter 1,000 times is one liter. If we have one and then we have 100,000, we do one 100,000 times to get 100,000. For number two, we're going to fill in the unknown unit in word form. So we're putting words on the line. We have 135, that is 100, right? One is in the 100 place, and 35 ones. For B, we have 135 centimeters, that's one meter. I know because one meter equals 100 centimeters. So if I have 100, then I have one meter. 1,215 is 1,000. 1,215 meters is one kilometer. 12,350 is 12,000. 12,350 grams is 12 kilograms and 350 grams. For number three, we're gonna write the unknown number. If we have 125,312, then that is what the number is, 125,312. For the next one, we have 125 liters, 312. So that would be 125,000, right? Because this is 125 times a thousand is 125,312. For number four, we are going to write greater than, less than, or equal to. So for A, we have 890,353 milliliters. So that's 890,000 compared to 89,000, right? Or 890 liters compared to 89 liters. 890 is greater than 89. For the next one, we have two kilometers, which is the same as 2,000 meters. And this is 2,103. So here we have no hundreds, and here we have 100. So this would be less than, because zero hundreds is less than 
100. For number five, Brandon's backpack weighs 3,140 grams. Brandy, Brandon weighs 22 grams, kilograms, 610 grams more than his backpack. If Brandon stands on a scale wearing his backpack, what will the weight read? So we have to compare Brandon to his pack backpack. I'm going to write um, a bar for the backpack and for Brandon. They tell us that the backpack weighs 3,140 grams. They tell us that Brandon weighs more than the backpack, which means he weighs the same as the backpack and some more. So I'm gonna break the Brandon bar up into two. It's the same as the backpack and 22 kilograms, 610 grams. They want to know what both of them are. So in order to get the total, we're going to add the backpack and Brandon's weight. So I'm going to write the backpack weight, 3,140 grams. I'm going to write Brandon's weight, which is 3,140 grams. And I'm going to convert this to smaller units. 22 kilograms is 22,000 grams. So I'm going to write 22,610. Notice I had to do 3,140 two times because there are two 3,140, the backpack and Brandon weighs the same as the backpack and some more. Let's go ahead and add. We have zero, zero, and zero. We have four, four, and one, which is nine, nothing to regroup. We have six, seven, eight, hundreds. We have three, six, seven, eight, thousands, and we have two, ten thousands. So, the weight will read 28,890 grams. All right, for number six, we're gonna place the following measurements on the number line. So we have an array of things to place here. Some in mix, some in smaller, some in centimeters. So let's do it. On the bottom of these, I'm gonna write what they are in mixed units. They have the smaller units on top. I'm gonna to write the mixed units on the bottom. So 3,000 meters is three kilometers. 3,250 meters is three kilometers, 250 meters. 3,500 meters is three kilometers, 500 meters. 3,750 meters is three kilometers, 750 meters. 4,000 meters is four kilometers. All of them say three kilometers, so I'm going to find and focus on this meters part. Um, so it's more than 250, because here are all the meters part. We have zero meters, 250 meters, 500, 750, and then the four right, which is essentially zero again. Um, so it's more than 250, but less than 500. So it is here. And above it, I'm gonna label it so that I know what I'm putting there. Don't just put the dot, you need to label what the measurement is. Okay, for this next one, 3,500, meters it's right on here 3500 meters and they already have it labeled for us. then we also have three kilometers five meters so that's going to be between zero and 250 so i'm going to put that and it's probably closer to the zero and above it i'm going to write three kilometers five meters 
And then for centimeters, I know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So I'm dividing this by 100. There are two zeros in 100. So I'm gonna remove those two zeros and the rest of this is gonna tell me how many meters it is. So this is 3,940 meters, right? Because that's the number without those two zeros there. So this will be three kilometers, 940 meters, which would be more than 750, really close to, to uh, four kilometers. And above it, I'm gonna write the number, 394,000 centimeters. Um, here we need to label everything. So um, we have zero grams, one gram, well, I'm sorry, not gram. We have zero kilometers, one kilometer, I mean, kilogram, sorry, two kilograms, three kilograms, and then this is 4,000 grams, which is four kilograms. So above here will be 3,000, because three kilograms is 3,000 grams. Above here will be 2,000, because two kilograms is 2,000 grams. Above this will be 1,000, because 1,000 grams is one kilogram. Now that I have everything labeled, let's place these measurements. We have one kilogram, 379 grams. So that's gonna be between one and two, right? Because it's less than two, more than one. And I'm gonna write the measurement above. Okay, next we have 3,079. 3,000 grams is three kilograms, 79. So that's gonna be between three and four. 3,079. Next we have two kilograms, 79 grams. Um, so that's going to be between three and four. I'm sorry, two and three right, because it's two kilograms. Um, let's just put that here and label it. Then we have 3,579, so that's between three and four, or 3,000 and 4,000, but it's more than this first one we did, so I'm gonna put it after the dot that I just had, and I'll label it, I'll put it on top, 3,579 grams. And then we have no kilograms, right? Because we have no thousands, 579 grams. So that's gonna be between zero and one. All right, so that concludes this homework for lesson four in module two. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next time, keep learning, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Homework with Ms. Thomas. I am Ms. Thomas, and today we will be exploring Mommy! lesson- Mommy! Can you please help me open this book? No. One times one hundred equals one hundred. Mommy, what about ten plus ten? Bailey. Do, do ten plus ten. Okay. Put it in the kit. Put it in the kit now.